Hello and welcome to today's love lesson. Today's love lesson is the seven ways that you can meet someone that doesn't involve dating apps. Now don't get me wrong, I love dating apps. I think they're a great way to meet somebody. But I know there are frust they can be frustrating, right? There's a lot of people to go through. And maybe you meet someone and it doesn't go anywhere or what they're looking for is not what you're looking for. So I have seven ways that you can meet someone that doesn't involve a dating app. The first way is your network and your network's network. So what does that mean? Well, you can use social media. You can certainly use your friends. I think that is a great way to meet somebody is through a friend. And you may find that your friend set you up with someone that maybe you don't think is the best match. Maybe you even question their friendship because how, how, do, they, how do they set you up with someone um, like the person they set you up with? You just didn't connect and that's okay. You will go on dates with people that you don't necessarily connect with um, and that's okay. Learn something from it and be open. Be as open as you possibly can with your mind, your heart, your soul and you will find somebody and maybe even make a few friends using your network and your network's network. And the second way to meet someone would be work. So that's actually number one when it comes to statistically where uh, romance begins can begin in the workplace. So I often necessarily don't want you to go and fish out the company pier, but I certainly, it, it's where you spend a lot of your time. So if you work with people you don't necessarily like, you could meet somebody through work in some way. Um, it's a great way. And that actually brings me to the next, the third, which would be volunteering. Volunteering is a fantastic way to meet somebody. Um, one, you both are interested in the cause, so that's huge right there. And you're meeting someone where you know you connect on that level and where their heart's at, you know that because your heart's there too. So it's a wonderful way to meet someone is through volunteering and volunteering for causes that you do feel passionate about and you do support. So it's a great way to meet somebody. And the fourth way to meet someone is through church or your spiritual group. So this I love because again, it goes kind of goes back to volunteering where you know where their head's at in some way. I think you still need to have an open mind and open heart when it comes to religion or spirituality and not maybe pigeonhole yourself into a certain religion unless that's something that really does go down to your core values. Um, which often it does, but if you can have an open mind and open heart, I think it really does lead to great matches. And so that's just a wonderful way. And if you, your church group or your spiritual group um, doesn't already have a singles group, start one. There, people will show up. It's amazing what can happen. So I definitely think that's a great way to meet somebody. And I certainly believe the best matches have a basis of um, God or have a basis where you have faith of some sort. It really leads to great relationships, great marriages, and um, stability too, and exploration. So, and the fifth way to meet someone would be, the fifth way to meet someone would be your um, meetup. I love meetup.com. I think it's, again, it goes on to the things you love to do and all these different, I mean, there's a meetup for anything. And if there's not a meetup, you can start one. And they're all over the place, all over the country. So it's a great way to connect with people that have the same beliefs with, of, or the same lifestyle, same beliefs, or just things that you enjoy doing great way to meet somebody and also make friends so if you're someone you want to get out there and make some friends this is beautiful meetup.com great way I've made friends this way and then you actually end up you can meet someone again you can go right back to your networks network so there's so many different ways to meet someone another way and I love this this would be number five would be travel 
So travel, I think, one, it raises your vibration. It's a great way to meet different people, great way to meet somebody. Um, and you're out of your comfort zone and they're out of their comfort zone. So it's a beautiful space to be in when meeting somebody new um, because you're not, essentially, I do think when we're out of our comfort zone, we are our authentic selves. And so it's a really great way. So that would actually be number six, sorry, I lost track. So six would be travel. So a great way to meet someone, great way to connect. And number seven would be a matchmaker. I'm a matchmaker, it's a great way, I love doing it. And there are matchmakers all over the country. And I work for a company called Talkify and it's wonderful because we sift through everyone. We use our network, we use all of these different ways to connect people and introduce people. And we do the sifting, which is really great. So the searching and the screening of people, we bring that all together. So Talkify, I'll leave a link below if you are interested. Uh, you certainly can become a part of the network and be matched up with potential people to, uh, to be in relationship with, fall in love with. So thank you again. Those are the seven different ways you can meet someone without using dating apps. I hope you like this and I would love to hear from you. Is there anything else that you want to know? Questions you have? Did you enjoy the video? Did you not? I love hearing that and either one. And then yes, thank you for liking, for sharing, for commenting. And if there's someone that you think would enjoy this or needs to hear it, please share with them. I know they'll thank you for it. And until next time, peace, love, and hugs. Bye-bye.